Year 12 chemistry, what we looked at today was titrations and volumetric analysis. Here's the basics of titrations. Uh, most of the time you're doing acid base. Sometimes you might be doing a redox, but you're doing a reaction where you can see a color change. Here I've got some acid and in here I've got a base. With the acid is a bit of indicator. So what happens when I add my base to it, changes the pH, so therefore the indicator changes color. Watch, so as soon as I do that, we get a color change because the pH has changed from acidic into basic. We use that knowledge in titrations to be able to understand when the acid equals the base. Obviously, I whacked in a whole bunch of base that time, so it's gone completely into my other color. However, in a titration, we add the base really slowly, so we can see that one point when we've got one drop more base than the acid. Let's have a look at the stuff we use with it. What this is, is a burette. It allows you to add drop by drop a certain amount of stuff and measure how much you add to it. So what this allows us to do is gradually drop by drop add base to my acid and work out exactly when the amount of acid and base is equal based on our reaction. So, start off, put that there and gradually turn that there. As you can see, as I add my base, it starts to change colour goes back to clear because there's still more acid there. As I gradually drop by drop add it, what's gonna happen is that pink color is gonna stay around for longer and longer and longer, and eventually it's not gonna go anywhere at all. And that is when I know I've reached the point in my equation where the acid and the base are in the sweet ratio that we can do a calculation on. So, add a bit more, and I can see Right now, it's sticking around for a bit longer, going away. Really close to that sweet point where I have my acid and base in the nice ratio. That's probably almost there. And now I reckon that's about right. That's sticking around for a bit longer, so therefore my titration's finished. This is another way of looking at it in terms of a seesaw. My acid was clear, that's what I started off with. So when I was clear, I had lots and lots of acid. As I gradually added the base, we would have come to this point where it's even and it's just a little bit pink. If I continue to add the base, I'll get a really pink color. But what I wanna find is that time when this is pretty much even and that's when I first start to see that glimpse of pink sticking around.